Why does the Lord allow us to go through trials? To prepare us to live in His presence eternally. Can you explain that? Okay, so the Bible says that God is love, right? Mm -hmm. And it also says that our God is a consuming fire. So put those two ideas together. Well, King Solomon put these two truths together when he wrote, For love is as strong as death. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. So love is like a blazing fire, but it doesn't destroy its lover, does it? No, it doesn't. But the Bible says that sinners and hypocrites, those who have not embraced God's love, are seized with fear, and they ask this question, who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burning? The answer is the exact opposite of what most people would think. The Bible says, he who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he who despises the gain of oppressions, who gestures with his hands, refusing bribes, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. So the answer is that the righteous are the only ones who will be able to dwell with the devouring fire and not be devoured. Only those who embrace God's love are not burned up by the flames of His love. So most people have been indoctrinated with a diabolical picture of the character of God, that He will torment sinners in hellfire for eternity. But the Bible gives a different picture. Yes, the Apostle Paul says that some people's characters are like wood, hay, or stubble because they have rejected Christ. So what happens to wood, hay, or stubble when they come in contact with a blazing fire? Well, they burn to ashes and consumed into smoke. But then there's another group of people whose characters are like gold, silver, and precious stones. So what happens to gold, silver, and precious stones in a hot blazing fire? They are refined. Exactly. So here's what God's Word is telling us. If your character is like gold or silver or precious stones because you have embraced the loving character of your Savior and made his love your own, then you will be able to live in his presence eternally. The Bible says, For you, O God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. So this is why the Lord says, I have tested you in the furnace of affliction, because he is preparing you and me to live in his atmosphere of love eternally.